Now the next posture we're going to do is another floor exercise, but this time we're going to combine some postures. I mean, we're going to go uh, from our floor exercise to a second floor exercise, and then we're going to sit up. And you'll see we'll be half standing. In other words, sitting up instead of standing up completely. So we'll demonstrate this. The first one is called the Cobra. And uh, there's a cobra that I prefer for the singers, but there are different cobras. If you go to different yoga instructors, they will teach you to do the cobra slightly different ways. We'll do the one that I have found most beneficial for the singers. So Victoria will demonstrate the cobra for us. Now the cobra I like crosses the big toes like this and throws the heels out. It also, the one we use, straightens the elbow. Many cobras are bent your elbows. Many cobras are done this way with the elbows bent. I prefer for the singers to the elbows to be straight because it puts an even greater angle in the lower back because we just did the, the, the King of Dancers and we already had an angle. Now we're doing Cobra and the angle is even more extreme and the breath is going to be leaned even more definitely up against the chest. So if you'll sing. See that? The back is closing. Right? Take a deep breath. See how the back opens? Then when she sings, it ends up being leaned up against her chest. Breathe. Sing. So there's the angle of lean. Go to Kyle. Do that and sing. That's the cobra, and that's the way we use the cobra. And from this, we progress into what is called child resting, which means head down, right? Pelvis up in the air, and let your head go all the way down like that. And because your heels were open this way, your pelvis sits, literally sits down in between your heels, right? Now you'll notice, after all of that bending of the lower back we were doing, now we have the lower back extended again. It's being stretched like crazy now, right? And the pelvis and the hips are completely turned under. So now she takes a deep breath, right? And then she sings a note. And then she stands up good octave. Now stand as well. So, So from child resting, she progresses into the Buddhist meditation posture, which is slightly forward and vertical. You don't want to lean back like this, right? That puts a strain on the, on, the, on the belly muscles. We don't want that. So you lean forward slightly, and your head is up slightly, and you're looking at the second balcony the whole time. So when you, every time you bend over, you blow out, blow all your breath out. Take a deep breath down here. Sing. And gradually sit up. of the three postures, right? And they all are affecting the breath. They're making you absolutely lean your breath. The fact that she, do child resting, the fact she uses these back muscles to lift the body up into the meditation posture, the fact that these muscles activate, draws all the energy and all the breath down into her lower back. And when she starts to sing, she simply leans on her, on her, on her chest and starts singing, right? And, and the whole time, do it again. Big breath. Right? Okay, go to, to, uh, to med the meditation posture. Feel that? Start singing. Feel that? Feel that? Everything is loose. There is no tension whatsoever in this entire area. And that is the combination of cobra, child resting, and meditation posture. 